I get asked one question almost every single day. What foundational model should I be using? My name is Wanjiko and we'll be diving into my top five general purpose AI models and what makes them great. Let's start with Amazon Nova. Amazon Nova is the new generation of foundational models from Amazon. The four Nova models are amongst the fastest and most cost-effective in their intelligence classes. They excel in agenda capabilities and UI actuation. So if low latency and cost are driving decision makers for you, consider Nova Micro. Unlike the rest of Nova's models, which are multimodal, Micro is text-only and does not include document support. The context window is also the smallest at 128,000 tokens. But if that is all you need, it gets the job done and it makes it a great choice. Need something a bit more complex? Well, then you need Amazon Nova Premier. Nova Premier is a model that all the other Nova models are based on. That makes it the most powerful, and especially with a context window of 1 million tokens. That's the highest of all in this video. If you're working on the biggest, most complex tasks, like multi-agent workflows, it's a model for you. Whilst the largest, if you're doing complex work, it can really be cost-effective. Other times you might want to use Nova Premier include when your workload has large documents, code bases, or video, when you're building advanced AI agents and coordinating multi-step processes, and when you need high-performance, cost-efficient AI tailored for specific tasks or edge deployment. Nova Premier is ideal for industries demanding accuracy and speed, such as finance, healthcare, legal, or even media. Next up, we have Anthropics Claude. Claude has quickly become a favorite for developers who need a mix of performance, reliability, and strong safety features. Claude Sonnet 4 and Opus 4 are Anthropic's newest hybrid reasoning models to date. Claude Opus 4 is a fantastic model when it comes to coding. For the longest running complex agent workflows, look no further, especially with it only having a context window of 200,000 tokens. Opus is the model of choice for scenarios where maximum accuracy, depth, and comprehension are required, such as research and complex agentic workflows due to its high memory capabilities. So if your tasks are mission critical, Claude 4 Opus is a great choice. Opus is also a great choice for high stakes coding and automation, such as when you're refactoring your legacy code bases with minimal risk. A fun feature is that it can interact with digital environments, simulating human-like computer use and automating workflows. I remember when this feature came out, I spent so long playing around with it. You should too. Please check that out. Claude Sonnet 4? When would you use Claude Sonnet 4? For your everyday hybrid reasoning needs. It excels at both creative and analytical tasks, including code generation, bug fixing, and large-scale data analysis, with a 200,000 token context window. So choose Sonnet for scalable, efficient solutions with enterprise-grade reasoning. Have you tried Sonnet? Have you tried Opus? What for? Let me know in the comments. Last but not least, Mistral. Mistral Pixel Large is Mistral AI's flagship model. It offers performance in reasoning, coding, mathematics, and all of your multilingual tasks. The Mistral team have focused on minimizing hallucinations and providing reliable, context-aware outputs. If cost is on your mind, it is actually currently the second lowest costing model in this video. Large is also powerful when it comes to document analysis, and it can summarize, extract, and reason with your lengthy legal or financial or technical documents. It was literally trained to acknowledge when it cannot find solutions or give a confident answer, which gives you peace of mind with hallucinations. Large has a 128 thousand token context window, matching Amazon Nova Micro. Large also excels at automated code generation, reviewing and debugging across multiple languages. So it is truly a great choice for your multilingual deployments. What you might have seen so far is there really is no best model. It's all about your use case. 
In my work of partners, I personally end up using Amazon Nova and Claude the most. They're fast, they're functional, especially with agents. Whichever model you choose, make sure to thoroughly test it. We have the model valuation tool and playground in Amazon Bedrock. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to AWS Developers for more videos like this. See you next time. Bye.